This is an experiment to estimate the surface temperature of the sun. I'm going to be using these blocks of copper here. I've got a thermometer in here, so this is just acclimatizing to the actual temperature of the copper. I've put these in the fridge to cool them down so that I'm reducing the power transmission due to the temperature of the copper blocks to the surroundings. So the, the net power transfer by radiation is from the surroundings to the blocks rather than the blocks to the surroundings. So I'm trying to maximize the effect of the power transmission from the sun to the blocks in the temperature rise in the blocks. So that, that, that's the idea there. Now, because the sun is not directly overhead, I'll need to measure the zenith angle so that I can calculate the perpendicular component of the radiation onto the sides of the blocks when I stand them up. I'll stand them up and you'll see that they're casting a shadow. Hopefully that's, you can see that's visible on the camera. If I perhaps go around to the side here, you can see that it's a little clearer. Okay, so the, they're casting a shadow, so that means that the sunlight is hitting on the side of the block. It's also hitting the top. The top is the side of particular interest. Uh, but I'm going to calculate the perpendicular component of sunlight hitting here and here. The other slight problem with my copper blocks here is the fact that they've got these holes in here because they're calorimeters. So we've got holes in them, uh, which is not ideal. Ideally, I would have a full circle of metal there. So what I will do is, when I'm not taking the reading, I will turn the blocks over so that I've got that full circle and then I have to hope that the thermometer is adjust correctly adjusting to the temperature of the block when I take that measurement. To hopefully help that, I will turn the blocks over about a minute before I need to take the reading, put the thermometer in there, that should then adjust to the temperature of the block correctly. I've got two blocks so that I can get a repeat reading. Oh yes, yeah, so I was actually going to say what, what these rulers are for. Because the sunlight is coming at an angle, I'll measure the zenith angle to the sun using these rulers. So I'll lay one down on the ground in line with the shadow that is cast by another ruler that I hold vertically. So I'll hold this one vertically, line this one up with the shadow, and I'll measure the length of that shadow. And then I know that the, the height of one ruler is one meter. I can then use this length and trigonometry to calculate the zenith angle. So that's what I'll do there. Uh, anything else that I need to, need to account for? The fact that the sky is not very clear. There's some high altitude clouds, some thin cloud. There's also some large clouds. And obviously if they obscure, then if the large clouds obscure, then that's gonna be really annoying. But hopefully I'll get at least 15 minutes without any cloud cover. I'm aiming for 30 minutes, but hopefully I can get at least 15 minutes. I'll set the blocks up and measure, measure the zenith angle. I also have another thermometer over here in the shade so that I can record the ambient temperature of the surroundings. May be useful. I'm gonna measure the initial temperatures of the blocks and then I'll get, get timing. So, block one, that is 14 degrees. And block two is 16 degrees. Right, let's turn these over. And, get that timer going now. Okay, so I'm waiting for the timer to reach 15 minutes. I'll then record the temperature again. As I said, I'll put the thermometer, I'll turn these blocks over, put the thermometers in 
about a minute before that so at 14 minutes I'll turn them over so that the thermometer is recording accurately it's a bit of a trade-off between recording accurately and doing what I think is best in terms of exposing the most amount of copper that I can to the sun right, whilst I'm waiting for that to happen I am going to record the zenith angle so let's set that up Number two is 23 degrees and number one is 25 degrees. The clouds have come and obscured the sun now, so I'll end the experiment there. I've got 15 minutes worth of data, so I'll use that, it should be sufficient to get some results. And I'll see what that gives me for the surface temperature.